In this video we're going to be looking at how to differentiate a function. So here we have a, a list of functions, some simple examples and then some more complex examples. Um, and up here I've got what you have to do. You have to multiply the function by the power and then subtract one from the power. So if we were to do that for the first one, we have to multiply x by the power, which is 2. So we would write dy by dx, which is the differential, equals 2x, and then take 1 from the power, which would be 1. But I'm not going to leave that 1 on there, because x to the power of 1 is just x. Um, so that's question 1. If we look at question 2, we have, again, to find dy by dx, the change in y over the change in x. That's going to give us 3x squared. So we've multiplied by the power. So we've multiplied by 3. And we've taken 1 off this power. So we've got 2 here. So it's 3x squared. Let's try the next one. This time we've got 4x cubed. So this time we're going to have to multiply by 3. So dy by dx equals We've got to multiply by 3, so we're going to do 4 times 3, which is 12x, and then we're going to take 1 from the power, so that'll be a 2. Um, so those ones were in the kind of normal form that most people would be used to, y equals a certain function. This is fx notation, so function. the function of x is 3x squared. So there's no difference in what we do. Um, the only difference is how we would write the differential. So rather than writing dy by dx, you instead would write f dash x. And we would say that that equals the differential. So we do the same thing. Multiply by the power. So 2 times 3 is 6. Take 1 from the power, which will just be x. And same for the fifth one. So the only thing that's different to the previous ones um, again was the notation, so we got f dash x and that's going to give us 3 times 5 which is 15x squared. Let's move on to the more complex examples where there's more than one term. So here we've got y equals, so for number 1 we're going to be writing the differential as dy by dx and for this, you just treat each term separately. So we'll do 3 times 4, which is 12t squared. We've taken 1 from the power. And then for the second one, we've got to do 2 times 4, which is 8t. Take 1 from the power, which would be 1. I'm not going to write that in. So that's the function, 12t squared plus 8t. For number 2, it's fx notation. So I'm going to write f dash x. And that's going to be... 10t minus, multiplying by the power, the power here is 1, so 1 times 6 is 6, and then take 1 from the power, that would be t to the power of 0, t to the power of 0 is 1, so 6 times 1 is just 6, so we leave it as 6. So essentially when the power is 1, that letter disappears. Third one, it's y, so we have to do dy by dx. And that's going to give us 3x squared plus 8x minus 2. And then this one doesn't have an x. So what happens to these is that they just disappear. They don't, they're not included in our differential. So we won't even include minus 4. There won't be any trace of it in this. And let's do the final one, number 4. It's fx notation, so f dash x. And that will give us 9x squared plus 4x cubed minus 10x. And that plus 10 is not included because it hasn't got a, a variable on it. 